<laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the most uh, public sex you've ever had. Um, telephone kiosk. How about you? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> top bunk, school camp. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, how about the quickest? Uh, person. He came with a parcel. <laughs> you? Oh, head boy. Halfway round the cross country. <laughs> oh. Okay. Worst sex you've ever had. Something you've never told anybody. He was a friend of a friend. And he invited me away for the weekend with a group of others. Anyway, the others went out one night. He offered to cook me dinner. There's flowers, candles, beautiful meal, the whole bit. I got pissed, we both did. Suddenly, he tries to kiss me. But I'm really taken aback because we both know it's not going to be like that. Anyway, keep on drinking. There's this beach by the villa. So we lay out on the sand and we're counting the stars. And he tries to kiss me again. He tells me he's in love with me. He's always been in love with me, how I must know. I don't want this, so I ask him to stop and I try and pull away. And suddenly, he gets angry, starts shouting. Tells me I must want it or I wouldn't be there. That I wouldn't have gone to visit him. And it's on top of me. So strong, and I kept saying, "Stop!" But he wouldn't. Oh my God, Carla! And afterwards, he was still angry. Just said it was my fault. Did you tell your friends? No, I just went home. But Carla, no, but it was ages ago. Carla, if this is true, then you'll never know, will you? Now, oh, Helen, your turn. I told you my story. There's nothing to tell, really. Look, what's the harm? In a week's time, you'll never see me again. You've got something to Just hide? leave it, Carla, all right? Oh, that's lovely. Who's that for? My composer. Uh, will you lend me 75? I've got to go to the boat. Yeah. Yes. For you. To keep away bad luck. Carla, you shouldn't have. You should save your money. Well, my money. <laughs> he was my teacher. Um, he taught me piano. I was totally in love with him. I knew from the word go what happened. I was 16. I was at home, I was revising, revising. And um, he called around. Well, my heart turned over. He told me how perfect I was, how he loved me, how his marriage was over, and how he wanted only me. And you slept. It was my first time. And it was amazing. I just wanted it to go on forever. <laughs> and um, I thought that that's how um, sex was. I thought that that's how it was when men... Um... But he'd had a heart attack. I phoned for an ambulance, but he was dead. He died in my arms. Oh, poor heaven. I loved him. And I killed him. I don't know. It's not your fault. Do you know, I've never told anybody else. 
this, and you mustn't know. Never. No, of course not. No, you must promise me never. He says, well, I'm sorry, but he says Miss French, she did not pay the bill at his hotel, the Syracuse? Of course I did. Wait, please, will you ask him to wait? It says my card could be over the limit. Would you mind lending me money? He says uh, 75 euro. And that's it. Manoli, please, could you tell him sorry? I give you a Right then. Should we get going? Well, hang on, don't you want to go into town and cash some travelers' checks? We're going on a boat trip. Yeah, but we've got time. Or we'll do it tomorrow. Don't worry. We'll pay you back. Now, what we could do with tonight is some top totty. Rob, they're Ryan and Toppy. You're gonna to join us for lunch? Toppy don't mind. Of course she doesn't. So, what do you guys do? Uh, I'm a singer and play the piano. Actually, I just finished my first album, playing my own songs. Oh, you need to give us a concert sometime. <laughs> yes, Cola, I've never heard you sing or play. What about you, Helen? What do you do? Can't you tell just by looking at me? Teacher? No. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Uh, psychologist. No. Futures broker. No. Brain surgeon. <gasps> no. Forget it, this is boring. The most exciting thing she's done is come here and meet us. Should we go and grab some lunch? Sure. <laughs> so, what's the last island you went to? Isle of Man. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's even more beautiful than I remember it. Been here before? Backpacking with my wife when we were students. Did you say you're married? Divorced. The only thing I'm missing right now is my little girl. She'd just love it here. Mm. So would mine. You got kids? Two. Have you? Boy and a girl. I can't see mine at the moment either. That must be difficult. Father's got them. Works in Washington. That's terrible. You can't do anything? Not really. Why not? Because it's not entirely true. <laughs> Cola. Oh, I'll have loads of kids one day. Listen up, guys. We're on a holiday. Oh, there's some Greek dancing in the square tonight. Should I book us a table? No, hang on, Cola. I'm not sure I want to go. Oh, come on, Helen. <laughs> no, I'm going to pass. You guys go. Listen, if you'd rather go somewhere else. Of course she's coming. You see, I borrowed some money from her this morning, and she's terrified she's never going to see it again. Oh, oh come on. that is so not true. Oh. I tell you what, tonight's on me. Are you going to stay in the sock? He's coming. 